Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down every lane. That table can only mean one thing. We'll be playing the Sony PlayStation. Episode of Memory Lane. Got a really unusual one here for you. I'm gonna be playing a Japanese copy of Tomb Raider 3. And now look how thick the case is. It's really weird. So this is a Japanese copy of Tomb Raider 3. Now uh, let's in the camera right here. Let's look at this for a second. It's really really weird how thick this case is. And there's two discs here, which is unusual. You have a Japanese version, disc one. And I guess right here we have the international version, disc two, which I have no idea what the differences are. I guess this might be the North American version versus the Japanese version. Uh, we're gonna have to check that out. And of course you have the manual right here. We have Tomb Raider 3 manual, and the Japanese manuals are usually a little different than our normal American manuals. You can see that everything's in Japanese. Nice color manual, full color manual. You got the uh, control scheme for both the DualShock and the standard PlayStation controller right there. A whole bunch of uh, ways of playing this game, and this kind of over here. I don't want to say I have OCD, but that kind of bothers me that it's the image is crunched right there, and it's the same thing over here. It kind of looks like something that's bootleg. I don't like that. And look at this. I don't like how crunched that image is, and over here it's even worse. <laughs> this. It's like the image was this wide at one time and they crunched it over into this. This does not look right. It looks like something that's bootleg. See, this looks okay. And now over here, this looks okay. That does not look okay. And of course, that does not look okay either. It looks like they crunched the image and I'm not a big fan of that. And we have a pretty almost naked picture of Laura Croft right there. And that is the rear end of Laura Croft, just in case you're wondering. And, uh, back in the day, just so you guys know, Whichever Tomb Raider game came out on the PlayStation, uh, not PlayStation, the uh, Dreamcast. I think it was the fourth one. So anyways, I had Tomb Raider on the PlayStation and there's a kid in my, my middle school that had Tomb Raider on his Dreamcast and he bragged, Mr. Dreamcast was fairly new at the time, he pretty much bragged that the Dreamcast version was better because uh, her ass looks better. <laughs> that was pretty much... The only selling point that he gave me. And fair enough, I mean, we were in middle school, so I was like, okay, yeah, that's true. And uh, this is what the back of the case looked like right here. Now, this is like some special version of Terminator 3 that has like two discs. Like, we never, I don't think we ever had such a thing over here in the US, or I'm not sure what Europe got, but uh, this is definitely something unusual. Got a few screenshots. And once again, that's the front of the case. So uh, yeah, let's head over to the Japanese PS2. 
And let's play this and let's check it out. It's kind of unusual. We're going to have to try both discs out to see what the differences are. We'll try the first disc out first, Japanese disc. And then uh, we'll try the, the other one afterwards. All right, so you can see in this cubby right here, I have a Japanese PS2. And it's just sitting there, ready to play whatever I put in. Uh, this instance is going to be a Japanese copy of Tomb Raider 3. I wonder if all Tomb Raider 3 games over in Japan came with two discs, because I find that to be highly unusual and weird. And we're trying to get this cord unraveled. Alright, so it looks like we have something underneath here. It's a memory card. Alright, let's pop that open and I look this little slim small PS PS2. And we're gonna do the Japanese version first. See if we can get that out. We'll pop that in there and Alright, meet me over by the CRT and uh, let's play some Tomb Raider 3 and check that out. This is gonna be a, like a weird mystery. And uh, figure out exactly what the Japanese version looks like first. It's gonna be interesting. Alright, so here we are playing Tomb Raider 3 on the PS2, which I'm trying to see if the, where the hell is the video, what the hell's going on here. Okay, well, we were playing Tomb Raider 3 on the PS2. There we go. That was weird. I guess my PS2 was acting up a little bit. I might have to eventually get another one. We had the classic PlayStation introduction right there. Now this is the uh, this is two discs. It's really weird. So this is the Japanese disc. I really don't know what the difference is. But we're about to find out. We have our Eidos interactive little uh, introduction right there. And this is Tomb Raider 3 Adventures of Lara Croft. Everything looks to be in English. We've got our really, really fast loading screen. It's playing on the PS2, so. I don't know what the hell that said. So this appears to be the main menu as usual. Start the game with that. You can walk around their house over here somewhere. Probably that one right there. Oh, uh, okay, so I'm assuming that we would probably start a new game right here. Had a very, very nice looking loading screen. That's actually quite nice. And here we have Tomb Raider 3. You can see that we are sliding down. That, that is a loading uh, save point right there, which seems to be like quite impossible to actually get to that. Oh, no, no, get over here. Oh, my God. I played a lot of Tomb Raider 1 and 2, but this one, I'm not 100% familiar with, to be honest. 
So we're going to walk around and explore for a little bit. There's another save point right here. That's probably not a good sign. That usually means there's something bad nearby. What the hell is that? Am I falling through the ground? Is that quicksand? Oh, God. Get out of there. Get out of there. That is insane. Right away. And here she is walking real slow through quicksand. Is she stuck? You can do it. <laughs> oh, my God. What a waste of time. Is she stuck on something here? Come on. Oh, the controls are so weird. You have to press the circle to actually grab onto stuff. I guess in Japan they kind of... the controls are a little weird. Yeah, some weird looking thing up there. I don't know what that is. We walk over here. We have some other weird looking things over here. Not your usual Tomb Raider looking. You know, it's basically Tomb Raider. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? What is that? That scared the shit out of me. Is that a monkey? I'll be honest, I never played Tomb Raider 3. I played 1 and 2, but... Now, that thing's not... It doesn't appear to be killing me, so... It's a, it's a monkey. I'm not going to kill it, because it's not hurting me, so I'm just going to leave it alone. But it did almost make me shit my pants. So let's go down here. And let's, uh... I got one of these levered things right here. Oh, this is so weird. So we got a door open right there. I have no idea where the hell that goes. Let's, uh... Oh, we got some water. All right. Go swimming. Of course, when you try to go swimming in this water, it's like a reverse current. So it's like, oh my god, where the hell am I going? What the hell? I think I am swimming into the abyss. Am I able to swim out of this area right here? Okay, that is not good. Is there anything up here that I can get to, like, so I don't drown? Oh my god, what the hell? So apparently it's very easy to drown in this game because the current throws you into, like, this little cave filled with water. And you can't get out. And she's done. That is it. You got the uh, very, very disturbing looking Lilla Croft drowning in, in a water graphics animation, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm here taking a guess on what the hell we're supposed to be doing here. So let's walk around our house. That's one thing I love about these Tomb Raider games. Each game you can walk around her house and explore, check it out, see exactly what her house looks like. Now this is her house right here. I spend more time walking around her house than playing the game. So I think it's actually pretty cool. This must be her massive looking uh, Bedroom area. She has like a little area where she can lounge right here. Look at that. This is her bathroom right here.
Now occasionally, I know there's hidden audio on this game that sounds kind of perverted. I know it took place somewhere in the shower. Because I remember back when I actually had this game, if you take the, I don't know if the Japanese version has it or not, but the American copy, if you take, take the disc and you put it into a normal CD player, you can actually hear audio tracks, and one of those audio tracks sounded kind of like a shower scene, and it sounded kind of promiscuous. What is this? Alright, so we got a door right here. Are we still able to do dives? Yeah, we can still do dives. So much like the uh, the American version of the game, you can kill yourself. Just to give you an example. <laughs> it's very, very horrible. Now on the uh, on the Elgato, it's pretty dark, so you can't really see exactly what I just did, kind of. But she, she just dove toward death, and that's on the uh, Japanese copy of Tomb Raider. All right, so that's not where we want to go. Let's go back to the house. I really don't know exactly what the difference is between the international version and the Japanese version. It's kind of weird, but let's. Go back in for a second. And I actually have the American copy up there. But again, this is one Tomb Raider game that I never really cared to play too much. I think I played the first one the most. So if we walk down here, this is a very, very dark dark area in the game, like this is kind of hard to see. There's got to be some lights or something around here. I mean, come on, look at this. I would hate to live in a dark looking at a house like this. Look at this. I know there's some hidden little areas in this game. I don't know exactly where they are, to be honest. There's like a butler over there that kind of creeps me the freaking hell out. Look at this guy. Oh, he looks like Uncle Fester. And of course, right here, this is the area where you just do all your acrobat, your jumping, and all that crazy stuff. Basically very similar to what you got in Tomb Raider 1 and 2. We got the butler following me around. Over here is like your kitchen. Got the kitchen area right here. Look at this. No, the lighting is kind of weird. It like flickers. And I do remember that you can actually lock the butler inside the the freezer. So the only thing you have to do is wait for him to show up. Walk in here. Wait for him to to follow you inside here. And then you can lock him inside here, which is not nice, but you can actually do it. I've done it before. And here he is. So, basically, the only thing you have to do is walk in here. And eventually, he's going to come walking in here, which is very, very scary looking. You jump over him, turn around. And if you do it correctly, now he's locked inside the freezer, which is not nice. I don't recommend doing that. But I remember, unfortunately, I've, I've done that, which is definitely not nice, but uh, let's see if we can walk around the kitchen a little bit more here. There's probably different ways of unlocking everything here. But yeah, let's uh, not waste too much time on this copy of the game. 
And so I go to the international copy, and let's find out what that is. So I'm a little confused on why there's two different versions on one compilation right here. This is weird. Alright, so stay tuned. I'm going to pop in the other one, and let's check it out. Alright, so here is the international version of the game right here. I'm going to boot it up. I have no idea what to expect from this, but it kind of looks the same to me. Here for our good old fashioned PlayStation introduction. We have our loading screen right here, and I look, it boots up exactly the same way as the other one. Got the same idols interactive introduction, so nothing nothing different so far. <clears throat> Everything looks the same. I just don't get it. Got the Lara Croft loading screen right there. Alright, so this appears to be an English copy of the game. So instead of having a Japanese copy, this appears to be just in English. So if we start the game, I'm assuming that's the same exact game. Same loading screen, but the, the controls are set to the North American version of the game. And the game is in English. So yeah, now the game plays normal like I would normally play it, but over in Japan they play it differently. So if we jump over here... Oh, oh, what? Oh, not the spikes. What the hell? So now we can pick up our... little thing right here, whatever the hell that is. I died. Now that's weird. As so I slid down the uh, the Japanese version easily without having that issue. Are the spikes missing out of the Japanese version? Well, go back in the video and watch because I don't remember. So maybe the uh, North American version is a lot harder. Let's uh, let's just slide down. Let's find out. Alright, so there we are. Okay, we definitely have spikes. I don't remember seeing that in the Japanese version. But I could be wrong. Alright, so we made it this far. I think I went this way. Yep, I definitely remember this. Because this is where the loading screen was right here. Or not the loading screen, but that little save point. Okay, so we've got the quicksand. I can't believe I walked into that shit again. So I'm not sure if the spikes were in the beginning of the uh, Japanese version. I don't remember seeing that. Although I could be wrong, somehow maybe I just went around it real quick and just did not notice. Okay, so here we are with this, and this is where that monkey creature came out and scared the shit out of me. And of course, I already saw him, so now he doesn't really scare me that much at all. So if we walk up in here... We got the uh, monkey right there, he's doing his thing, not bothering anybody, and then we got... A 
little door opens up right there. And of course, this is where things go downhill. So you get sucked into this cave looking area right here. And much like the uh, Japanese version, which, what the hell is that? I did not see this before. Maybe I was blind, but I did not see that before in the uh, in the Japanese version. What the hell? That does not make any sense to me. Alright, so if you walk up here... Climb over here... Okay, that's weird. Well, I don't know if I completely missed that door or not on the Japanese version of the game, but I did not see that little... Whatever that was. There's a little entranceway there that you can actually walk into underneath the water, and I did not see that. I'm wondering if that was missing from the game, or if it was there, and I just saw spined a little bit. Alright, so now I can actually walk around over here if you want. And we're back in the quicksand, so yeah, this is... Basically it for that. Let's uh let's try our house out. So right away I did notice some uh, unexpected differences, but I don't know if if that was just me or if that was actually real stuff missing from the game or things are just different. Maybe I just completely overlooked it and did not notice it. So we're gonna try the house. And I believe on Tomb Raider 3 it's the game that you can actually ride the quad. If you get to the right spot inside of her house, there's a way you can actually ride ride the quad. And let's see here. So this is her bedroom. So far, everything looks the same. We got our, our bathroom over here. And that is for taking a shower. And if anything like Duke Nukem, you can definitely uh, sit on this toilet and take a piss. And then make a funny comment afterwards. And got like a nice little small private swimming pool. Or a hot tub, whatever you want to call that. I've got a fireplace right here. Was that in the Japanese version? I don't remember. But I do know you can throw her in there and burn her. Probably don't want to do that, but that's something you can do if you want. If you want to look around. And let's walk down here and again it's just as dark looking as the, uh, the Japanese copy. Very, very dark. Look at this. We got the creepy butler right there, bringing me my uh, tea. It's tea time. We got the kitchen right here. There's not really any noticeable differences. And then that's the door right there. You can definitely get outside this. This kitchen and go outside if you want. There is there is a way of doing that, but I forget how to do it. So eventually the butler is going to come walking in here. As you, you can see, he's right there. And uh, let's see here. So one thing I like about this game, you get some nice looking uh, speakers to kind of look pretty high end. Come over here, have a nice 
crazy looking audio system. You've got the speakers. The speakers kind of look like some of those fiber speakers, which are very expensive, or perhaps uh, Bibles and Wilkins. You know, something like that. Look at this. So Laura Croft is definitely into music. She has like four speakers set up. So you got some quad audio going on here. And uh, that might be a Macintosh amp with a receiver. You never know. So let's walk out here. Now that old guy is getting his exercise for today because he's following me around Let's go into the gym. quite a bit and this is the uh, exercise room right here it's pretty much the room where you have to run around and do some crazy stuff normally the swimming pool is down here so you have your swimming pool right down here and now they added like a little area where you can dive so you will run up here. So this was definitely not in Tomb Raider 1 and 2. You can dive into the pool. Yeah, check that out. That's awesome. So this international version of the game appears to be the American version. And I really did. There is a button right here. Okay, so that opens up that. What the hell is that? So this makes me just want to keep playing the game. I love exploring her house. Playing the better than playing the game. I just like exploring her house. So we just run up here and keep jumping. And somehow we have to make it back all the way over here quick. I believe that was over here. Okay, so that opened up. Now what the hell was that? So that over there opened up. So we have to like do this real quick. And run real fast. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Ah, son of a bitch. See, things like that are challenging in this game. It's very, very hard to, uh... To actually do little things like that. But it makes the game fun. we got the door right here. We can definitely explore the outside. And this is definitely something I remember doing quite a bit on this game. There's like a... If this is the right game, there's like some sort of maze... That you can walk around and I love the property on here. Look at this. Nice huge fence. Look at this. And there is a way you can get out there. Most definitely. And look how big this house is. It's legitimately huge. And the butler's coming out here. I did not tell him to bring his ass out. He needs to get back in the house and make some tea. And here we have the little no. No. Oh you need a key. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So somewhere in the house you have to get a key. And eventually you can go in here and this is like some sort of maze. And there's the ATV, you can actually see through the wall right there. So as soon as you get that key, you can go in there, you can have fun, you can drive the ATV, little bike vehicle. So that's something you can definitely do. And this is definitely a weird little alleyway right here. You don't want to get stuck around this area. You can definitely climb up here. And then jump off and try to get over 
that little area right there. Sometimes it actually works. I don't know if you guys have ever done that before, but I think I've actually made it over the wall by doing that a few times. Alright, so let's keep walking. How long have I been recording this? This has been on for 15 minutes. I'm having a lot of fun playing this. This is actually pretty cool. This, I have more fun playing than the actual single player game. So now we have a time limit that this popped up. So we have ourselves a, a bit of an obstacle course. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, so we made it up here. So you can see that there is the roof of this house right here. We're going to definitely try to jump across and see what happens. Go to places that we don't belong. And the butler is actually still following me around. I don't know why. So this is more of an exercise. Let's see if we can actually make it here. Jump across! Oh, look at that. This helps you train for the game. Oh my god. Get in there! Oh. So now we have to climb up this cage little area right here. You can watch Laura Croft climbing up this obstacle course. Alright, so now we have to definitely figure out which way we're going to be going. And there's really no, not too many options here. We just got to cross over here. Oh shit! That was a pretty high fall. If that was to happen, so you gotta be careful of that. So we're definitely going this way, and that appears to be the kitchen right there. And I fell straight down, damn it. That sucks. That's fine, we can definitely climb all the way up here. Alright, so let's see if we can make it all the way up here. And then we have to, once again, go across this area right here. Now once you fall, you fall into like a body of water. And again, this is all different kinds of crazy stuff you can do around her house. Swim up here, there is a... Yeah, there's an area right there you can actually use like a rope to fall down. And you slide all the way down the obstacle courses, but I forget how to do it, to be honest. 
And uh, the capture on the Elgato is definitely darker than the capture on the um, on the CRT. Like if you if you see the CRT, it looks actually normal. And that appears to be. Look at that, that's pretty awesome. Oh, check that out, that's pretty cool. Now we have to walk underneath here. And we have to make it all the way to the end. It looks like there's some guns right there. We're gonna pick that up. This is a shooting range right here. So if we, if we use the uh, the firearms, we can actually use that. Uh, this is probably the finish line. I guess if you have the ATV or something, you can actually drive that all the way over here. So yeah, that's exploring Tomb Raider's house. There's a lot more than that. You can definitely explore, do all kinds of crazy stuff. Just a little area right here you can walk around. Of course, this brings you back to where you were before. So that's Lola Croft's house. We basically took a walk around the whole thing. And again, there is a lot more little hidden areas and stuff. This is Tomb Raider 3, so... Uh, this is the international copy of it, the Jap Japanese copy, but it's the American copy. Oh, excuse me. Whew. It's the American copy of the game. And as you can see, it comes with the Japanese copy and the American copy. Really weird. I guess the Japanese copy has stuff missing. Which might be the reason why anyone would want to play the American copy of the game. Because usually, I would imagine that the Japanese copy has just as much as the American copy. But it looked a little different. So if you enjoyed this episode of Memory Lane and you want to see more PlayStation episodes, comment down below and give a thumbs up and uh, let me know what you think of this strange Tomb Raider 3 release that has the Japanese and the American copy in one case. It's kind of weird. But yeah, give a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you think.